DJ Flanders, Senior Vice President of Operations at Troon International. Thanks very much for speaking to Club Car. Uh, DJ, you're based in, uh, in Dubai, and I believe courses are now starting to, to open in Dubai and the UAE in general. Um, just give us a flavor of, of what's happening, and indeed, perhaps even a, a kind of a surge in demand from customers as they come back to golf. Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, we've seen all of the properties open up in all the Emirates here in the UAE, and and Troon, we're been, we have the benefit of having properties in all of the Emirates. Um, the Abu Dhabi Emirates opened first, and then we had Ras Al Khaimah and uh, Al Zora or Ajman open up, and then Dubai has opened up as of uh, last night. So, um, and the biggest thing that we've seen is the participation levels are up. Uh, I think because in this particular uh, region, everyone was kind of on lockdown, a pretty strict lockdown. So everyone's very excited to get outside. So it was very important for our properties and, and our other properties here in the region to be prepared and to take the COVID restrictions that have been put in place by the Emirates Golf Foundation and uh, the Emirates uh, here in Dubai and the government authorities and to make sure that we're keeping our golfers associates uh, safe while people are out enjoying the golf courses. And how do you go about preparing? Because I think for, you know, for, for some venues, for some courses in some countries, this demand has come as a bit of a, a, a surprise and the restrictions are <laughs> naturally rest restrictive. So how do you go about preparing? How, what's, what's been your experience and what would you tell other golf venues uh, uh, across Europe as, as we start to open up? Yeah, sure. We're benefit because we have over 400 golf courses around the world. So there's been a ton of idea sharing. But that being said, true, and we've been sharing our best practices with other operators in the region as well, because we feel what's best for the game of golf is more important right now than who manages the facility. So I would say recommend that everyone should be utilizing their resources. And I'm happy if people want to reach out to me to get our best practices, I'm happy to share it with them. Um, social distancing, spacing is a big part. Uh, we're leveraging technology to make sure that people are making online tee times or at worst case scenario, at least calling before coming so that we can anticipate every golfer that walks in the door. That gives us the ability to manage the flow of the operations. I've seen tee times uh, increased uh, at some properties. Uh, ironically enough, what has happened because a lot of the groups have been reduced to three players or two players at some facilities, pace of play has actually been quite good. So they've gone to 15 minute intervals and then reduced it down to eight because they're able to still do the social distancing while getting more people on the golf course and keeping them safe. So every facility is a little bit different, but uh, you know, there's definitely ways that we can all operate. Not touching the flagstick, removal of brakes, uh, reducing the amount of touch points that people have uh, while they're playing the facility is definitely key. Um, removing magazines from the golf shop. We really have had to walk with the guest eyes on what they might want to touch and try to remove those things so we can get them out onto the golf course and keep them safe while they're out there. Is there one piece of advice you'd have for, for other golf clubs in terms of how you organize your teams from an operation perspective to get people together to be ready for this, uh, for this comeback? And that's a great question because the team, you know, you're balancing two things. You're trying to keep the members and guests safe, but you also, you know, you've got a lot of your associates that are uh, putting members out there every day, contacting with a lot of people, and we need to make sure that they're staying safe as well. So uh, a lot of health tra training and safety awareness has to be done behind the scenes. If there's clubs that are closed now, I'd highly recommend that they start doing all of that training now, because then when they open up, their staff are fully prepared to make sure that every guest that's walking in is using the uh, hand sanitizer and that they're sanitizing the golf cart before they get on it. And then the san hand sanitizers when they leave and you know, just getting that reputation in place now so that, that that is a new norm for them when they reopen and they're keeping themselves safe as well as their members and guests. Well, DJ Flanders from Troon International, thank you very much for speaking to Club Car. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Club Car. Appreciate you being here.